Okay, it is another sunny morning, which means we will need to water. There is no rain falling for us today. We learned a sandwich recipe and a couch recipe. All right. There was something I meant to try to build. I've forgotten what it was. I also would still like to get a better watering can. <laughs> I know I have been saying that for a long time. I still have not improved my watering can. I either want uranium or meteor. So, meteor if possible. And water's nine by nine at a time. Saves so much time. It really does. Let's fill this puppy. Oh no, we don't need to fill it. I don't know why she shook it that way. She usually does that to indicate that it's empty. And some more things to harvest. It's always good for a farmer. Okay, put that away. Always good to have a harvest coming in. That you can sell or eat. And we're not going to rush over to Spoonie because Alexis doesn't get up in the morning as we found out last time we were over there. She was still in the bed. Everybody else was getting up and about. She's more of a nighttime person. So we don't, we don't need to rush over there until we get everything done. Um, I would like to do some fishing over there so we will go over there while it's still daytime but um Alexis has got a more difficult to pin down schedule than some of the other residents all right we'll just double check our food here everybody's got food ginger a hug Milkshake got scrub. Milkshake gave us the milk. Um, oh, need to water this. Need to water this. All right, Arlo, I was about to give you a little hug, a little rub. Let's give Angel one. Okay. Let's see food in there. Major char. Ah, damn horse just won't grow up. Okay, let's see. We have two thousand, so finding a horse won't help us because we can't afford one. Okay, and we've got cherries and cinnamon to harvest, no lemons, and we've got apples. Nice. We actually could plant some more fertilizer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make ten more seeds. Not fertilizer, fodder. Honestly, I just speak so often, and a lot of times I don't catch it like I just did. I don't notice it until I'm. Um, playing back the video and I'm like that's not what I meant to say thought I said something else it's weird how the um, the mind plays tricks on you think you're saying one thing and you say something else all right there we go that should give us really a lot especially since we can pick it we don't have to use the sickle 
And this was an experiment to see if I could get them to not bunch up along the fence, but I think they're still doing it, so I may just dig that up. Lightning, I don't think I rubbed you. I don't think I did. And I know I didn't shear you. Very nice. It's been a while since I sheared you, hasn't it? So that's quite a bit of wool. Which is great when I do get finally get to um, put my loom up and start. Wonder if it's too late to check Spoonie's weather. Twenty, uh, yeah, it is. They give you tomorrow's weather. They don't give you the current day's weather. All right, is this where I'm sticking my wool? I don't think so. But that's what I'm gonna do for the moment. <laughs> I think I'm putting it in that storage shed, but that's okay. I'm going to stick it in here. And add this one little egg. Because so I've been taking my eggs and milk over to Spoonie because that's something that they don't have access to. So a lot of times that's what's up on the, on the um, board, on the request board. I need two more media right to make a watering can. Everything else is good. I have a meteor pickaxe, meteor shovel, uranium axe, uranium shears, brush, hoe, and sickle. I have a meteor fishing rod. So yeah, it's really just I have the ultimate bug net. I just need a better watering can. I might have to visit the mines on my way to Spoonie. As a matter of fact, my friend Patrice wants to see the route to the center of the mine. So yeah, I think I'll make a special trip to the center of the mine for Patrice. And see, can I find some meteor? Ah, oh, yes, soybeans and my thousand dollar bonus yay all right yep that's what I'm gonna do so it's gonna take a minute it takes about three hours um, game time to get to the center of the mines but it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and hopefully when I get to Spoonie Alexis will be out and about either sitting on the bench or at the cafe the bakery having something having a nibble all right so let's get going now that we have an objective other than just running over there we'll do fishing another day we still have a few um, like 10 days of fishing time in the summer to catch the summer fish and since I have the meteor fishing rod, there's nothing to it. It's like almost instantaneous. All I have to do is cast it out there. So, all right, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna skip everything till we get to the center. We're just gonna do that center room. And we're gonna pop back out and take the shuttle over to Spoonie. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. The key to getting to the center of the mind is to always follow the largest grouping of mushrooms. And it can be tricky. I, um, I don't usually open all the pathways in the mines until I need a specific ore that's behind one of the other boulders. It saves confusion. But um, if you don't know your way to the center, you're likely to have removed those boulders already. But I don't remove them unless I absolutely have to get what's behind them. And sometimes you do, you have, you need steel or you need, um, 
tungsten or something that is usually found in one of those areas that um, isn't as easy to find in one of the other areas. Now you see there's a boulder over there that I haven't done and there's mushrooms here and there. This group of mushrooms is bigger than the group of mushrooms over there. So I haven't moved that boulder and this is the group of mushrooms that I want to follow. This is the bigger group of mushrooms. Again, this is a fork in the road, but this is where the mushrooms are going. And you should see this green along that wall if you've taken the right turn. It looks like a dead end, but it's not. Go to the wall sometimes. You're going to have to actually go to what looks like a flat wall sometimes. And then look to your left and you'll see that you can go down that, that direction. And there was another boulder here and again big group of mushrooms big big group of mushrooms there's another boulder I haven't removed it because it doesn't go to the center following the mushrooms we just keep following the mushrooms and you should be seeing those pools and a lot of the wall you know a lot of this flat wall on your way All right, and there's another pool. There's not that many mushrooms there, but then there's mushrooms again, and then there's mushrooms again. So I won't say this was a large patch of mushrooms till you get here, but you still follow the mushrooms. Okay, this is a tricky spot. A lot of people make a mistake here. Look at, um, learn what the, the rocks look like. There's gonna be one of those. Then there's gonna be this big one, this monolith one, that you want to um, go here to your left around these mushrooms. That one's a little tricky. All right, and here there's just this little teeny tiny bit of mushrooms. So it's not, you really can't tell, unfortunately, there. But when you get around the corner, you hit the next big patch of mushrooms. Uh, that's another trick that's another tricky spot and I don't know any way good way to <laughs> any good way to point out which way to go but here's more big thing of mushrooms there's going to be another boulder there that you're going to have to break and then when you start seeing the glowing mushrooms you're there the glowing mushrooms are always at the center they are always at the center whether you're in Diamond Falls or Clementine Mines. So we're just going to follow around. There's all these really good gems here. Lots of good gems, lots, usually lots of uranium. And you just follow the glowing mushrooms. Now, big mu patch of mushrooms, but also the glowing mushrooms will lead you to the doorway. And then this is where your final boulder would be. Okay, so I hope that helped my friend. And I'm going to see, can I find, all I need is two meteorite to make. Awesome. Perfect. That's all I needed to make my um, watering can. But since I've made this trip in here, I'll go ahead and get I'll go ahead and get a few other things to pay for my time because that was like three hours. It's six o'clock now. And I do have to pay for my shuttle. Because <laughs> I'm gonna take the shuttle to Spoonie now. And Alexis should be out and about. It's evening time. I usually catch her after the bakery has closed, sitting on the bench. All right, I'll just get what I think is uranium and possibly another meteorite. Oh, well, excuse you. She fell on that and it didn't give me a gemstone. <laughs> okay, it's so hard to tell these 
All of these are white. Some of them are meteorite though. This one has a yellowish tint to it, so this is probably pyrite or something. Yep, pyrite. And hopefully one of these... Oh, I forgot to extend my backpack. Oopsie. I always put it up when I'm around the farm because it blocks my clock. Ooh, yes. I could tell by how many times I was having to strike that that was going to be meteorite. Nice. So yeah, we'll get this just in case it's uranium. And uh, it wasn't. <laughs> and, but I'm not sure if I have given that Laramar to the museum yet. So there we go. We're out of there. We're going to head to the shuttle and uh, get on over to Spoonie and see can we hook up with Alexis and make our last two deliveries off of the um, message board. I don't think we're going to spend the night though. I think we're going to come right back to Pumpkin Vale. Polish up these few gems and uh, try to make my watering can. <laughs> then I can leave the gold watering can in um, Spoonie. because right now I don't really have very many crops there to water. And Pumpkin Vale will always be where my mo the most of my crops are. So, hey Evan. Just going to do a little dumpster diving before I get on the shuttle. And that the corn dog just paid for my transportation. Round trip. Awesome. And I think I'll eat that bread. There we go. All right, so yeah, let's pop on the transpo and seek out Miss Alexis. There we go. All right, let's see if she's, let's highlight her. I have her highlighted, okay. Let's see if she's sitting outside. She is. Yeah, she likes to sit out here after the bakery closes. So, there we have. There's your vodka, sweetie. And to go with your vodka. Wait, what did I? Oh, no, I used up some of her time. I gave up some of her time. Oh no, she wanted raw aluminum. I must have put it back in my, uh, doggone it. I put it back in the storage unit. And I could have gotten some more in the Clementine Mines. Oh, Alexis. Alexis, Alexis. I tell ya. I'm sorry. I really am. That was my bad. All right, let's see how our pineapple's doing. Does it need watering? I didn't see water droplets. I hardly ever do, so I'm gonna water anyway because I just um, don't visit here often, so I can't see how it would not need watering. I'll just double check my trees. All right, none of them are saplings anymore. They're all out of the sapling stage. That's excellent. I need to get a um, big storage unit for over here. Let's put that away. Need to get a storage unit for over here. Banana ice cream. All right, so let's see. Since iron, we'll leave the iron in here. That's going to be for our friend Corin. Eventually, he's going to want that. What do we have in here? We have a little bit of everything. Uh, 
Alright, let's go ahead and put the time in there. Yeah, I just, uh, I must have just put it put the, um, or that she wanted it back into storage by accident. Let's see, do these grow in Spoonie? All towns in the summer. Okay. First, let's finish making seeds out of the glowing mushrooms. Because those mushrooms are a hundred bucks each. I have some in Pumpkin Vale. But since I have to come over here to check the uh, pineapples, might as well plant something else over here. We'll plant those. And we'll plant these. All right, so that's done. So we can get back to Pumpkin Vale. Let's put our backpack back up. I'm not sure why things aren't stacking. If my backpack were full, those would have stacked on each other because they're the same type of recycling. But for some reason, just not getting that stacking like we should. It's unusual. All right, let's go. Back to Pumpkin Vale. And I have to remember to get a storage unit from Eddie, one of the um, large storage boxes for Spoonie. I was hoping to get the recipe for the storage shed now that that's available on TV. I just haven't been lucky enough to get it yet though. Hey Bibat. Going to the bar. Rose should be leaving work. Yes, she is. Finally got her schedule down, Pat. She's another one with a very hard to pin down schedule when you're trying to give her um, a package or do a favor for her. But I learned it because I did want those I wanted to do favors for her so she'd start giving me um, clothing patterns. I'm usually up at 4 o'clock a.m. anyway. <laughs> I'm usually all out and about at that time, so I would wait up for her to leave work and uh, be able to give her. Um, whatever she had requested on the request board and get some patterns from her. So we're going to be working on that just as soon as the summer crops are done. There's not as many crops in your quota in autumn and there's hardly any in winter. I think there's two things that grow in winter. So yeah. I'll have some time on my hands. All right, we need to get these gems polished. Yeah, we've got a little more salt, some regular mushrooms. Just close that and close that, and we will make our watering can. Oh, darn, it's an experiment. I hate when it's like an experiment, it goes so fast. Three, three, 
three, three. It's it goes so fast. And there is nothing worse than messing up a meteorite <laughs> item. I just cannot tell you how much that pains me. All right, so we have a meteorite watering can. As a matter of fact, we can make another one for Spoonie. We sure could. What else do we have that's not meteor? Our sickle, oh, our hoe. Hmm. And our axe. I'm undecided, so I won't do anything. But um, it'd be nice to have one of those in the meteorite as well. Okay, we're going to go to bed, though. <laughs> All right, did we already watch television? We did. Okay, we're going to go to bed. Let's see, we want to get up at 8. All righty. You have received something in the mail. I think it's just $400, which isn't very much. Okay, we're learning how to make a lot of ice cream. Be nice if we were getting more uh, milk production, but we only have one cow. We probably should breed our cow. And we have a new watering can. that I made last night. Where's that watering can I made last night? Oh, we put it in storage. Can I tell you how much that scared me? Because I have um, had things disappear on me. I actually had a house disappear on me in multiplayer. I went to Eddie's and requested him to move my house and he removed my house. I had no house when I got back to my farm. So I'm very paranoid about losing things. <laughs> All right, we're going to water this stuff over here. I just love having this watering can so quick. Easy, easy, easy. When you can hit all of those spots at once. Takes no stamina. Come on, sweetie. Get the food in the trough. All right, let's go ahead and water this guy. Yay! All right, hello, lightning. Hello, Ginger. Give everybody a snuggle. Watch out for the cats. You may look yummy to them. Okay. Arlo, have you grown up yet? I, you have. Char is the only one that is stuck in time. Look at Arlo. Arlo is a rooster now. Look at you. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I have a full-grown rooster now. If he wants to breed with the chickens, I can breed him with the chickens. But this dang pony, though. What the heck is wrong with you? Why won't you grow into a horse? Seriously. Oh. And how'd this happen? You're not even in the building. Really? <laughs> not even in the building, okay? Oh, I swear, I don't know why they coded some of this stuff like this. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Angel, did we snuggle? I'm not sure. I'll give you a snuggle anyway. Oh, and you're hiding one, aren't you? You sure are. And then you had to go sit down on it. See, that's what I'm saying about why did they program this this way? Why did they program the animals to lay down on the poop? 
and then make them be sick if you don't get it out from under them. It's um, kind of odd to do that. I don't know why they would do that. Okay, so we've got our pepper. We've got coffee. We've got flour, sugar, and barley. All right. Now, what was it that Alexis wanted that I mistakenly took out aluminum? Oh, I don't have enough aluminum for Miss Alexis. I sure don't. I'm not going to polish anything right now. We'll polish later. Okay, so let's go take... Oh, and I will leave these tomatoes out here. There we go. So we don't have enough aluminum for Miss Alexis. So we would have to go back into the mines again to get that for her. And aluminum is near the front of the mines. It's not like I have to go deep. It's usually in like the first chamber or two. So I may still do that for her. First I'll go get my mail, check and see what they have at the um, market today. My last quota was, um, what was it, milk and eggs? Cheese and butter. So I bet the next one's going to be mayonnaise and something. So, oh, yay, corn dog. So we're going to go do some recycling. Yes, we are. We are going to go do some recycling because I am picking up a lot of boots. Boots and bags. I don't really need anything from the market. Um... Nope. Can't think of anything. Sometimes I would buy stuff from the market to satisfy the museum donation requirements, but I'm not at that point where I like just don't um, have time to get it on my own in the wild or am desperate to get to the 50%. I'm actually doing pretty well with the museum donations. I'm up to 31% and I'm not even trying. So I don't think I'm going to have to buy anything to um, get to 50%. Alright, we're just going to do some recycling. Probably run into just the front of the mines and see can we get the uh, ore that we need for Miss Alexis if we don't find it in the front really pretty quickly. We're just going to cancel her request. Yep, those things are not stacking. Backpack space is pretty precious, so the stacking feature is pretty important. It'd be lovely if it was working correctly. Lovely. This is a nice bit of um, recycling. It's going to add up to it, especially when I throw it in there with this corn dog. That's going to be a nice little bit of change. All right, so we do want to go to Eddie, and we need it because we want to go to Eddie's and um, buy a large storage unit for Spoonie. I've been sticking everything in the refrigerator. And then we need to spend a day cutting trees. 
I need 200 or 300. I'll double check when I go to Eddie's. Let's make sure I have enough. Oh yeah, I have lots of money. I don't need to uh, sell my vouchers to Vera. <laughs> uh, or the corn dog to Lily. I can get the storage unit without doing that. Um, I will check and see the next size up house. How much that's going to cost me in Spoonie. I think it's 300 wood planks. I think so. Hello, Eddie. All right, so we want a large storage box crate. Okay, we'll buy that. And I don't want a windmill over there, so that's okay. Um, let's see, large country house. Yep, 300. So we have a lot of trees to cut because that's the size house we want in Spoonie. So, we have a lot of cut it chop tree chopping to do. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. I don't know why I get the hiccups and an itchy nose when I'm recording. And the mic is too close to my nose that I forget and hit it, sorry. All right, so we're gonna check the first couple of rooms in the Clementine Mines for more aluminum. If we don't find it, we're going to cancel Alexis's request and move on with our lives. We'll probably go on over to Spoonie and Water now that we put down a few more things with the pineapples. Because I don't think it rained over there today. When I checked the weather yesterday, it said um, today's would be 29%, which means it probably did not rain. All right, so this little chamber here to the left after we get across the stairs it's usually a good one for metallics like steel, aluminum, tungsten, cobalt. So let's just see if we can find. We only need one. We only need one aluminum rock. Let's see, there's a few more in here. There we go. All right, so I can take Miss Alexis her aluminum. Happy about that. Oh, back up the stairs. Put you away. So that's a done deal. Complete her request. And since we got a corn dog, we can afford the shuttle. Since Char just refuses to grow up so that we can ride him. All right, let's see what's in the garbage, too. Another corn dog would not be hated, not at all. We would not mind having another corn dog. Oh, I think I took that Sebastian request for 20 of those, so I guess I should take those now. More recycling. Can't complain, though. They turn out to be $20 vouchers. So just picking up those two things, that's 40 bucks, which pays almost half of my transportation back and forth. This is an expensive little bus ride. 
<laughs> Let's go to Spoonie. I think I'll spend the night at Spoonie. All right, are you back out on the bench, Alex? Oh, it's raining. Hmm, I didn't have to come in water. I did not have to come in water. Well, that's okay. Hi, Meredith. Let's see, we're gonna put, we're gonna pick you up. We're gonna place you down. Then we're gonna put the TV on top of you. Oh, it's facing the right way for a change. Nice. All right, let's watch you. Watch the evening report. And regular bug net. We already have a good bug net, so thank you for that, but doesn't help us much. And we'll just go ahead and store some stuff in here. All right, there we go. Don't think I need to leave any of these tools. But I can get the iron ore out of the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, lordy. And the seeds. Get the seeds out of the refrigerator. Just have food in the refrigerator. There we go. All right, Miss Alexis, where you at, girl? You staying in into in the dry? But are you watching television where I can click on you? That's what I'd like to know. Or are you in the bed? Why are you in the bed? It's not that late. You're usually up now. Hello, Corin. What you need? I need for you to what ask you me for twenty. What you need? Iron bars. That's what I need. All right. Um. Let's see. We have nothing for the museum. Our quota is completely complete, and we are going to cancel this because I'm tired of dealing with um, the scheduling. And back to Pumpkinville we go. We take care of our animals in the morning and have a regular day. Maybe do some fishing. Go for some more of those summer fish. See, can we get those into the museum? I think that's what we're going to do in the morning. There's a spot over behind Alex that I haven't been to yet. And they have some of the rarer fish over there. So I think that might be where I go. I would also like to go back to Diamond Falls. I really would. I discovered um, Lake Daya has a lot of... Um, gemstones and stuff that you can just get without going into the mines. So I'd like to take advantage of that. I also would like to get more dinosaur pieces. I want to go to the tropical tundra. I like fishing there. So actually I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow because I'd like to do all all of those things. You can't be in four places at one time especially without transportation. Without a horse. So we'll just have to toss a coin, or maybe I'll ask Siri. I'll assign each location a number, and I'll tell Siri to pick a number between one and four or something like that. And let her tell me where I'm going to spend my day tomorrow. 
in pumpkin days. Did I get the, let me check the weather in Spoonie tomorrow. 21%, which means I should probably go and water over there tomorrow. Unfortunato. So, we'll see. We shall see. Let's get all of these goodies in here. And now that we have storage over there, we'll take this um, watering can over there. We'll take our wool over there. We'll be doing our wool production over there. And we'll start working on this wood we have to get another 200 at least. At least. This can go in the refrigerator. This can go in the fridge. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so yeah, no chance of uh, getting some free watering tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to have to do it manually, it looks like. Did I leave something in the windmill? I think I did. How many of these do we have? We only have six. I don't know if you can abandon that Sebastian request or not. When he asked for 20 spoiled meals. Um, no, I did empty it. Um, let's see, there may be something in here I can just blow 20 of. Not corn. I could probably blow 20 bell peppers. Let's put that in to the fertilizer barrel. Uh, this is for Spoony when the house is bigger. There's some museum stuff. What do I have that I could just waste 20 of? I don't really have anything I want to waste 20 of to to make um, spoiled dishes for him. Well, 15, I have 5, but I still don't see anything that I want to do that with. I'll put you in the barrel. Let's check our food. It seems like every time I leave um, Pumpkin Vale, the food disappears. <laughs> oh, they get nervous. They have separation anxiety. They eat more when I'm not home. That's okay. I don't mind. That's why I'm growing food for them. That's why I cut food for them. I don't mind at all. Alright, we're going to put... Oops, which one did I... I want the autumn one. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so this is still stuck on. Let's hit cancel. All right, that's it for today. 8 o'clock.